Hey now Cairns, it's Minx here, hope you're doing super super norm, wanna shout out our Patreon supporters, first of all Reaper, who has been with us since the get go of Patreon, thank you so much Reaper for the continued support, and another OG, OD Chatfield, another supporter since the get go of our Patreon, and even before that for Reaper and OD Chatfield, back when we were on another platform, so thank you so much for the support, thank you for being so nom. Thank you for being amazing. Here is another long play. Shout out to our producer Alice as well for making this all possible, of course. And her links are on screen right now. Make sure you follow her there. And I hope you guys enjoy Mirror Forge. It's pretty good. All right, Mirror Forge. Let's check it out. I'm trying to remember which one this was. Same dream. Blinding light. A cold umbral growl. I'm reaching, clawing towards hope. Towards oblivion. Oh, it's a Dread X game. They're really expanding a lot now. They have uh, My Friendly Neighborhood coming soon, too. Real spiked thunder drove straight through my palm. My heart keeps beating. I stumble. Grasp out in delirium. Then, black. I dream about my mistakes. About the life I destroyed. All I have left is my scar. To remind me of the things I've done. Just another day in. One day at a time. You got this. All right. <sighs> Even two years after the accident, I'm still getting these migraines. This is made in horror engine. Someone's trying to claw right into my skull. I could tell by the font. I think I left my painkillers in the nightstand. <laughs> I could tell. I could tell instantaneously. This is horror engine. All right, painkillers. How the fuck do I get them? Oh, there we go. Uh, not perfect, but better. Good enough to get me through the next few hours at least. All right, what am I doing? I haven't worn this about six months. You check them for moth holes when I get the chance. Is that my landline? I'd forgotten I even had it connected. I mean, I feel that is definitely something I experience all the time. Hello? Oh yeah! Let's rock on, guys! <laughs> Happy birthday! Good morning to you too, Dale. Why are you calling my landline? Well, I tried calling the cell first, but it just kept going to voicemail. Aren't you supposed to leave that bad boy on in case there's a plane crash or something? Not anymore. Hey, you may have lost your license, but you've got a gift, man. Fixing knees and backs is easy. It's me I don't know how to fix. Oh, Jesus. How long have you kept that one in your back pocket? Dale, you're right. I'm not feeling any better sitting here. I'll swing by the ranch tonight, yeah? And thanks. I'd forgotten my amnesia versary was coming up. For a minute, I thought they'd spell anniversary just totally wrong. Oh, someone's at the door. Wow, this is... Morning is just full of surprises. Especially as there's a fucking storm going on. Why is anyone out and about? I could swear I've seen this symbol somewhere before. Who could have said Isn't it the same as the symbol on your hand? All right, we have a oozb oozb drape. I wonder what's on it. And we have a note. Thomas, I know you and Jill are separated, but you're still her emergency contact. This footage was transmitted to my computer last night. I can't make heads or tails of it, and I figured you want to know. Jack Crane, EIC of Ajack News. Okay. I guess we need to find our PC. I don't know where the fuck it is.
Everything's fine. Picture a big bird on the wall here. Is, is the camera working? <laughs> Alright, looks like it. <clears throat> Alright. Good evening. I'm Jill Lane reporting for AOC News Live from Devil's Womb Canyon. Breaking news as authorities report that three buses full of students have disappeared without a trace. The school group was returning from their annual class trip to Camp Watonic when Perrin... Shit. Is everything just breaking today? I think I still have one of my old work computers in the storage closet. God, everything's going fucking wrong. My old wallet. Aside from the clothes on my back, this was all I had when I woke up in that field 20 years ago. Got too ratty a long time ago, but I keep it as a memento. So we woke up in a field 20 years ago with no memory of what happened, I guess? If you see this icon, it means the object is physics-based and you can grab it. Press right mouse button or gamepad face button to grab a physics object. Hello? Okay. Oh! What in the fuck? Well... This is not what I expected to suddenly see, but here we go. Oh, thank fuck, I don't have to turn it myself. Look at all these fleshy nomkins. Dark Souls? Oh my god, is this Dark Souls? The game? Hi! Holy shit. Wow, it's got a lot of weight on his shoulders. I don't remember anything about the demo of this, but we did play a demo of it, apparently, because I had it installed on my computer still. The electronic door closed before I could reach it. I'll need to grab the key I left in the storage room and proceed to monitoring to pull the lever and open it once again. Oh, a time door. Excellent. I love those. Pitiful fumes. Shrimps licked out of my designs. Rejected curve. Slither on your belly to me and grovel. Your insignificance amuses me. This is hot. Holy shit. Say that to me more, mummy. Come on. A door key by the size of it. Dr. Jane Smith, Chief Dimensional Physicist Project Mirrorforge. To say the initial results of the forge's activation were unexpected would be an understatement. Along the lines of calling penicillin just some mold. We thought we'd find new elements, new sources of infinite energy, and yet we found so much more. The experimental potential of these new vistas are unprecedented, as is the danger. This thing doesn't just make a window between realities, it cracks it. <clears throat> this is Jill Lane speaking to Dr. Thomas Jackson. Surgeon and lead physician for the Hope Project. First question How do you do it? 
14 hour days, six days a week. You get used to the hours and a medically unsafe quantity of coffee. <laughs> that may be true, but you see so much suffering. How do you handle it? Someone has to. How noble, Mr. Superman. It's Dr. Superman, thank you. <laughs> but please, just call me Thomas. Is this how straight people flirt? Please explain. I think I have to book it back now. Honored words and shiny trinkets. Apples of power and promise so easily purchase your pathetic imaginations. You are worthy of such privilege to hear whispers from the god. I made it, I think. Yep. Oh, hi! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, I think we need to run. Bring it back to me. Return what is not yours. The fuck is this place? I think we got away. And how are the gravitation? Any promising leads? Jacob, fuck the gravitation reading. Four people, my friends, are dead. <sighs> yes, I know. But don't think for a second that it doesn't haunt me. But we turn back now. <laughs> and if we keep going, how many more will die? None, if I can help it. The second activation will be like the first. I'm taking precautions. Speak of the devil. I've invited the team of medical doctor. I need you two to work together to make sure that this does not happen again. All right. I like the audio logs, by the way. Like, they're surprisingly well done. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wouldn't expect them to be good, but they're actually pretty good so far. Like, so far, this is fine. Got some interesting aesthetic choices too. Seal of Nur. I have no idea what it is. Well, press one to equip the Seal of Nur. To and press left click to use it. What did I just do? Oh. And so it came to pass that Nur did lay his beating heart within a vessel. The seal of Nur, forged so those few marked may pass as did Nur between the glass of living and dead, to call back those that have since gone, to walk through the veil between waking worlds, and to cast back those that do not belong. Is this going to be like an indie eternal darkness? Because that's what it feels like right now, right? Stun lesser enemies with the Seal of Nur. I'm a bit busy right now. <laughs> What's all of that? That wasn't a dream. What gave it away? The fact you're holding the artifact in your hand? What the fuck is that noise? It's report that suddenly all calls and messages coming from the children inside stopped at the same time. The police have not been able to locate any break marks or signs of collision along the road. With only the town of Gorberg nearby, options are Gorberg. For... Shit, Jill. What in the fuck <gasps> is going on? Golden Vistas, fathomless desire, power 
Wow, this is lovely. Oh! My cell phone, it's completely dead. It was working fine last night. Fucking planned obsolescence bullshit. Am I just going out? Is that my objective now? We're trapped inside our own apartment, guys. With a really loud clock. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I have the world's brightest flashlight still. Jesus, this is... This is actually a good flashlight. In a horror game. And I am shocked and appalled that it exists. We only want bad ones. Get the car key from the table in the living room. There you go. <clears throat> okay. We're just teleporting. Somewhere in Devil's Womb Canyon. Chances of him hitting some random zombie on the road or car crash. Yep, thought so. That was an incredibly low fidelity cutscene there. to try and find someone. Hmm. I still don't recognize any of this. And I'm sure I played the... I definitely played the demo, so maybe they changed it a lot? I don't know. Something to alleviate injuries. Can I take it and just use it later on? There we go. Okay, I can. I guess they're heals. Decent little intro, though. Like, so far, I like this. And I didn't think I would, so... God abandoned us. In terrible font choice. Can't open this. When people doodle on the walls, why do they use, like, such shit fonts like Arial or Comic Sans or some shit? Doesn't seem like a good idea, you know? A map of the Gorberg Industrial Zone. It's a very unfortunate name. The kid that drawn this must have been traumatized. I wonder why the kid made such eerie drawings. Jokes on you, that was drawn by a 50 year old man. Equip the seal of no and use it on the frozen particles to reveal a frozen moment. Okay. I guess we brought this with us. Made this visible, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, 
I have to hold it like this. Place the lever on the power box and turn it on. This is a lever? I turned it on. You happy now? Maybe that'll open one of the doors. That does not sound good. Looks like he got trapped in that webbing. I'd better stay away from it. He's fine. My little nomkin. Oh no. Do we need to build a bridge? Oh. Well, not quite. Yes, but not in like the really jank way. The jumping is not great, as you guys can see. Like, how do I get up here? It'd be a running jump? There we go. Alright, we made it past the intestines of doom. Let's look around some more. <clears throat> Another box. Oh. I have to put it in the right place. Okay, this is going fairly well. A lantern. Say it with me now, everyone. Is this amnesia? The A 1919... Promises new future for renewable energy. With Project Mirror Forge. Isn't he the guy who invented some banking app? A 1999 newspaper. Not as old as me. By quite a large margin, actually. What the fuck is that? Alright. The camera's not working again. Great. Alright. Uh, my science team has found a way to neutralize these strange after the second attempt to turn on the mirror forge, uh, if, if you get stuck, just follow my lead. First, grab an empty beaker and place it on the hob. All right, what are we doing with this? I have no idea what they use it for. That's very helpful. This looks suspiciously like a giant hand. Or maybe a giant fish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't know where the beaker goes, or what we'd use it for, but... Maybe something to do with one of these machines? Anything else out here? I don't think there is. Yeah, so far this is pretty decent. Just hope we can figure out what to do with... That we can't take with us. This we can. The question is, where the fuck does it go? Here? There we go. Good. Now, put some sulfur powder inside. Sulfur powder. I know where that is. Let's try using this. Nope. Aha! Sulfur powder. It's one of the world's oldest remedies. Put five pieces of uranium inside of it. I have no idea. Where the fuck am I going to find carbon rods? Apparently here. Oh, we've got a piece of copper wire, actually. Not a carbon rod. Okay.
Hmm. What can I use the copper wire for? Maybe I can pick a lock with it? It doesn't fit the lock here, but yes, maybe is the answer. I think that's relevant. 187189. But copper wire doesn't fit the lock here. Hmm. I can't use it on this. That just is sort of like there, you know what I mean? Is there a way of bending the wire beforehand? Can you stop crying, please? I'm very busy. Aha! The rods were right here. So, ignore everything I just did. Okay, you'll need to place a copper wire now. Alright. Next, pour the hydrobronic acid into the beaker. Of course. I'll just find my, uh, my daily supply of hydrobronic acid. You're not hydrobromic acid. You tease. Hmm. Alright. Here. Da da da. Da da da. Well done. Now, we'll, we'll need to turn on the engine to bring power to the hob. Stop whispering. Alright, we need some gasoline of some description. Aha! That whispering noise was someone opening the cupboard. Uh, just wait for it to heat up. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> okay. Last up, pour the alien liquid we've extracted from the webbings. Oh! The alien liquid, of course. Silly me. Glad the alien liquid was just lying around. There you go. And acid strong enough to burn through anything. Well, thank you for the help, random person. I don't know who you are. We can now progress with our adventure. Oh, hello. What the hell happened to this town? It's like no one is here. Look his little face. What a numpkin. Can I jump in this game? Yeah, I can. Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Time to get the fuck out of here. All he wants is a hug, and I instead blew up a blue crystal in his face, but you know what I mean. The thought is there, the love is there, everything is done. <gasps> oh my god. That is a big boy. Just got the trophy, size matters. Don't let them tell you that, guys. This is. Seems to be getting worse further in town. I like the way the flashlight's given up now we're outside. It's like, no, actually, I don't want you to see. This looks bad. Shit. That's a lot of blood. What just happened? Did you guys see that? That was like a tornado of blood. These military crates are all over the place. 
What happened here? We're about to find out. Two days of waiting. Some of the people have already entered the facility, but my team is still here. What's going on? <sighs> These Gorbert folk are not the chatty type then. Well, that went well. They're glow sticks, that's why they light up so much. I will say, they're terrible at nailing things in this fucking town. I've managed to pull up off like six boards so far with my bare fucking hands. There's numbers in here as well on the wall, look. I can't tell if they're part of an existing puzzle, or... Oh, what's this? Or they're just part of the asset that's included in the game. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to gauge. There's just a two in here for some reason and nothing else. And a seven. Okay, so it's definitely something. And there's a safe. Okay, so two, seven, something. I know someone just ran up behind me. But it's fine. Oh, we need a lighter to light the candles. That's so rude. Never forget, never forget, never forget. Diner first, box then follows, women then man. Must not lose it. Must not lose it. I'll make you forget. Don't forget the code. It'll make you forget. So, diner, woman, diner, box, women, man. So we've got the first two digits. We have two, seven. But we don't have the other two. We don't have women and man yet. Which is bum. Alright. Where are we going to find women and men? Dead end up here? Probably don't want to get touched by that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say. Maybe it's like the guy in the, in, in the diner? Right, this is a woman. What?! Again. You can play on the seesaw a bit, but the apocalypse is coming. Alright? What the fuck? Maybe, the set, maybe that number is the... Hang on. If there's a number around here, this will be the woman. And then maybe that number's the man, and there's another number on the front of the diner. That would make more sense, right? Feet are talons, hands are unclean, face like a savage lion. Wonderful. Does she have a number around here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Try to be careful and avoid the gigantic tornadoes of blood going down the street, but you know. Ah, key. Diner storage room key. Thank you. There we go. Progress. Okay. This is Jill's. Do you think that's Jill? Hmm, I should take this, I might need it at one point. There's a name on it, Roy Gonzalo, expert of Sumerian language. But we're not gonna take our wife's ID. You know, we could show people a picture of her. H hello? Gunshots mean people. Oh shit. Check the source of the shooting behind the diner. Okay. All 
Oh, this door's open now. And these are the toilets, I think. Yeah! So we now know the code, probably. Oh, we can save our game. News reporter and the cameraman are still with us. No, oh, oh, that's my wife's voice. Suck a dick. <clears throat> Mind me at the end. Oh god. I don't see a number in here. Which worries me a little. Also, I don't think these places have been cleaned in a while. I think I might put in a complaint. Find me at the end. But... There's no one at the end. I just tried. There's no one here. It's just an empty toilet because I can jump into it. I guess we'll try the other side. Hi! Well, you're looking beautiful today. I'm not going to touch you if that's alright. Zero! Okay, so we have another part of the clue. The men's toilets is zero. I think I heard a door open then. Or unlock, maybe? Nope. Oh! Hi! You were not here before! Well, that helped a lot, and by helped a lot, I mean it didn't help. Oh, hi! Oh, shit. There's a writing on it that says, find the truth that was. Wow, this toilet is way more involved than I thought it would be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Piece by piece, I'll rid your flesh with bones. Tear essence from soul. Leave them your thoughts and fold what was taken. Hello? I just want to know what's in the last stall. That's so... all. Can't we be friends? Well, we appear to be an ancient Sumeria now. I know I'm an expert on it. I played House of Ash. shit about the science anymore. This is madness. Jacob is already talking about a third activation. I, I can't let that happen. I'll need to get the doctor on my side for this. He can still get through to Jacob. And maybe, maybe we can stop this. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I guess we'll see. Oh my god. It's a gnome king. I am feeling a lot better today. 
All right, let's do this. Bam. Okay, I guess it just makes a magic bridge bridge for us. Wonderful. This place is a little ominous. Although I believe the technical term is bumminous. We have like modern technology shit here, look. Each of these statues has Roman numerals on them. Maybe they mean something. Wonderful. I want to read this night first, though. I'll keep this short. Morale among the staff is wavering. I fear that many resolve to see this through. We cannot fail this close to finish line. I know you share my vision. Suffering, loss, famine. Inches from a footnote in the history books. I need you. Your weekly medical exams have granted you a closeness to the team that I no longer have. I need you to monitor them, make sure they stay the course. The entire project's in your hands. Eldred. I don't see any Roman numeral on this. Am I being blind? I'm guessing we have to put them on the right stands, whatever that means. You know? But there's a lot here. You know, like, how do we translate them? Oh, it's a five. Where the fuck would the five go, though? Like, I mean... Well, this is not particularly helpful. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is easy. If I can grab this ever again. There we go. Alright, so this goes... On the one that looks like an eye. You. Thanks. I feel that the torch is too bright here, like I'm really struggling to see what I'm meant to see, you know? Oh, one. Yeah, that's really hard to see with a flashlight on. So one is like the tentacle here. This is a four, which is the weird sort of like cross hatch type thing. Here you. Um next. We have six, which is the diamond. That got me quite bad there. Did not expect a papilla to show up, but it did. Two is the pointy thing here. And we have a mirror. Oh great, we're still in this shithole. Um... I'm not sure I want you plunging anything into me. Where have I? 
I think that might be our wife. <coughs> what was that? Oh, there's the last number. Does anyone remember all the other ones? Because I don't. The last digit. I should try the code on the safe in the diner's office. Maybe I'll find some info on where they took Jill. Oh, two, two, seven, three, oh. There you go. Is this what that voice was talking about? Doesn't look like much. No idea what'll actually happen if I break it. Do we want to break these? That sounds like a really bad idea. Destroy the statues to increase the seal's duration. Well, I guess we have to. Alright. Now what? Doesn't seem like a good thing to be doing, really, but still. Oh well. That didn't sound good either. What was that? It was coming from that small house just after the playground. In context, that makes sense, because I actually did go and look at that house. Hi! Oh my god, they're so cute. They're trying their hardest. Nearly knocking himself out on the wall there, did you see that? Checkmate. Oh, hi, guys. How's it going? I see you. Stuck. Mm. God, it's so fucking cold right now. Let's have a listen, shall we? This is Jill Lane, a field correspondent from Ajax News, reporting from a Gorbrook, I think. Uh, I don't know how we got here. This place is just wrong. These people, they kidnapped us. They're taking me and my cameraman Todd to somewhere called the Forge. And I'm scared. There, there's, there's something in the dark. be scary if there's a giant ball of shit in the dark. What was that noise? Deliver test subject to Goldberg Facility 2. Hello? Whatever you do, stay locked in stock. The cultists have overwhelmed our defense. Stay out of Goldberg. Well, we're here. I am aware that changed, by the way, when I looked away there for a second, but, you know. Probably not that big a deal, right? Ah. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, no, guys. No, you don't. That's right. Fuck off. Well, I just went down to 10% health in a few seconds from being in attack range of these fuckers. Which is not good. Especially as one of them has now followed me into this fucking place. I know I have the painkillers. It's a bad idea being here. There's so many! What do I do? Can I open this? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, this button does not work. Yeah, I'm dead. That was bullshit. 
That escalated really quickly, holy shit. There had been no threat prior to that moment, and then suddenly, the Bullsack people were very upset with me. Hey, at least it's safe here. Now the question is, where the fuck do I go? Oh. There's the gate again. Can't go that f oh god. Can't go any further that way. I'm gonna try going this way a bit. Alright, we're on the other side the we're on the side bit of the gate here now. I think I think I turned the power on for the door now. Use the key card on the large gate, got it. I had to turn the power on first. <laughs> no rush or anything, thank you. You right there? That strange red thing again. I better not go near it. He's having the time of his life. No key card in inventory. Okay. This bit looks familiar from the demo. Oh no, was it this game? I remember throwing boxes at these buttons in a demo. But I can hit the other switch from here. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this game got really weird, actually. Like, and we were like, why is it going on for so long? But they have changed it somewhat, so hopefully that'll, that'll fix. Alright, that's one. But we need another. Is this? Uh. <clears throat> Alright, more pill. I didn't actually lose any health right in the end. Did I? Oh, 85. Okay, so we're fine. The, 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 uh, the hordes of mans outside did not stop me. And we still need the key card. I remember parkouring in here as well, I want to say. Hi. You are literally in the wall. I'm not sure that's meant to be happening. It's interesting, because what we played so far is way better than the demo. And I'm hoping that the rest of this is going to be way better than the demo. But the demo was really bad. So we'll see. <coughs> not entirely sure what to do here, though. We hit one of the switches, but where's the other one? And how do we get up there? See, so it's one of two switches hit. <laughs> oh god, that scared the shit out of me. I was wondering if this guy had any- like, like we killed him. I wonder if it had anything on him, but I guess not. Oh, is that the keycard? Nope, it's just like the fucking- this is made by me. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I'm not seeing a route up here. I will say that either as well. I swear we had a key card. Did he lose it? What was he doing with it? The fucking idiot.
Yeah, I don't have one. But I did have one, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, that definitely happened. Yes? Maybe? Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's a key here. Alright. We have a key. Open. Thank you. Alright, we're good. We're, we're Gucci now. Shipment of antimatter arriving. Highly dangerous. Do not touch the containers until the firm atomic science team arrives. Check the magnet readings and report immediately. Hmm. Anything else in here? Aha! A Firmatonic key card. Well, this flashlight is really bright. Like, it's insane. It's like the antithesis of every, like, horror game, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so different. This person really is in the- like, is that intentional? Have they been cemented into the wall? Like, I don't know. Oh, I remember the parkour in this room. And it was awful. What is this? Oh, I see. Alright, good. The metal grate seems electronic. The cable probably goes beyond the green door underneath. I have no idea what that means. Okay, we can't get through because of the grate. Got it. It's a really great grate. Alright, so. Where is the other button in that instance? That's what we're missing here. I hear something gurgling. Hear the gurgs. A bad case of the gurgs. Well, it's not you, because your face is in the wall. How do we get up here? Go through the green door beneath and find out where the ladder gra- Oh! There's a door? What door? What? This door? Oh! I'm really glad I read the objective. Oh, I I do remember this. Hi. I don't know the code to use it. A Firmatronic USB drive. I guess that's the one they want us to look at because it's the only one that's open. You can you can fuck off. Photonic scientists did a subatomic analysis on the dimensional traveller who got trapped in our uni universe once the mirror forge exploded. We found out, alongside three other people, members of the news team were also originating from the other reality. These people with molecular frequencies and dimensional weapons your only hope of sp opening a rift between our world and the other. That's our wife. Our ex-wife? Question mark? I can't remember. <clears throat> Hi. What does he want me to grab here? The other guy's gone? No. Hmm. I did investigate the source of the roar in the hallway. It was fuck all. It was just this. It was you. It was this little one. Being a bumpkin. Am I maybe looking at something on this screen? Ah. 
hang on. Six zero two seven. We got it. We got it, guys. We're geniuses. Six zero two two seven is the code. It says ladder great control. Probably great about the ladders in the hangar. Shockingly, yes. Work. Did I press it? I guess I did. Oh god! <laughs> well, that got me good. Are you fucking kidding me? Come here, come here. No, come on. Come. There, there we go. No. 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 Bad. Are you fucking- are you fucking kidding me? I claimed this a minute ago and now it's like, nah, I don't want you to climb it again. Alright, we did it. We got 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 it. Up we go. Fantastic. Listen, we weigh less than the box because we've been on a diet, okay? It's a really good diet. It's really numb. No big deal. It's called the air diet. You eat nothing but air, and the weight just flies off. <laughs> well, that sucked. Dust is a good diet food, that's true. There we go. It uses our darkest thoughts against us. Reads our minds and warps our reality and perception. It delights in our fear and suffering. Breaking us until we have lost all sanity. So it's friendly, is what you're telling me. So what am I doing up here? If I drop down, am I making a big mistake here? Let's find out. Oh no. I think I actually had to do that. Shockingly. I think that door's open now. Oh my god, it is! Guys, we solved the puzzle. I vaguely remember, right, that somewhere in this section there is an invisible enemy that chases you that was awful in the demo. The Mirror Forge, we were wrong. It wasn't a door, it's a hammer. It doesn't tear space time, it smashes the multiverse into one. It starts with dimensional cracks, rifts on the walls. Things come through. But what's worse is that voice. A whisper of what's still trapped on the other side. It feeds on our fear, our pain. It uses our memories to warp our reality. Your reality. The barrier between the two is so thin now. Brian Clark. <clears throat> Clark? Where have I heard that name? <laughs> what is happening to me? Everything's fine. Oh, we need a code. I don't know what the code is. Well, you should. What the fuck? We can't go back, so there's not many places we can go. Is it on the back of this? No, it's not. So where is it, Brian? Huh? Can you fucking tell me? Do you know? If that is your real name. 
Oh, hang on. Five? Well, that's a digit in a code. So that's a good start. There's a vent here. Let's go here. <clears throat> Hi. The phone next to this corpse is turned on. Hot. We're under attack. Ever since the activation, the instances of hostile breaches have reached catastrophic levels. We lost power and there's something in the dark. I can't see it. But I can hear it breathing. Can't get to the reserve power generator. If anyone finds this, the door code is 37. Yeah, this is the invisible thing. Looks like some sort of energy storage. Invisible monster, listen and survive. Rely on your hearing, not your eyes. Yeah, I remember this. I remember dying here quite a lot. Let's put it that way. Because it's a terrible idea. What was the code again? I can't remember the fucking... What, the, the, what did they say? What was the code? 37. Oh. The, the first numbers were 37. Find the rest. Oh, shit. So, 3751. 3751. Oh, 3715, because the jam is on the 5. There you go. Listen, do not see it. Yeah, we're going to die here a bunch, guys. We have to plug this in. And navigate the building. I can't see anything. The final preparations of Mirror Forge have started at Eldred's facility. The fuel will be ready to transport by morning. Now for the battery. Okay, we need two more. Yeah. <clears throat> Two more. Hello. Oh, fuck. It's right there. I dropped that over that way because it needs to be there anyway. Alright, that went pretty well. Go through the open door on the end of the hallway. Bye. Where'd it go? I think this is the right way. I'm just going to panic and get to the mirror. Alright, we did it. That was actually surprisingly easy. Beautiful. I understand all of this fully. She's fine. Again? I was gonna say, I guess things have changed behind me. Her old apartment. 
check the text message on the phone. Hey, Dr. Jackson, I wanted to say your work on Darius was nothing short of phenomenal. That kid is going to have more than just a shot at a normal life now. Booking time with the Fraser Foundation ASAP, this should be good for years of grant money. I love these bits. I mean, I literally did just check the message on the phone. Open up. Aha. Hey, honey, I went to check hey, out the house today. Honey, um, oh. I went to go check out the house. Random today. voice acting. <sighs> Looks like the uh, whole ordeal with the roof is finally over. Just one more reason for us to celebrate. I just want to let you know that I left to drop some things off at Abby's real quick. Wait for me to get back home, okay? I have more amazing news I want to talk to you about. I thought she was going to say her name. Got an old lighter. I need the key for that. Alright, what can we set fire to? Everything? Aha. I got a ring. I think I put the candles in the wardrobe. Well. I'm glad we can open it now. We're going to make a romantic scene inside the wardrobe. I actually can't see anything now, which might have been a bad call. Get the candles from the wardrobe. Oh, I see. Leave them on cabinets and up high. All right. Do you want it? Take the fucking candle, all right? Well, it went somewhere. the flower box. Find the flower box. Oh, I don't fucking know. Aha! It's a box with flowers on it. Genius. Oh, we're making uh, a romantic scene. Another text message. She's gonna die in a car crash Ready? on the way home. Hey baby, hey, there's, there's just too much traffic. Too much traffic downtown. How about you meet me at Dave Shitty Dive? You know how much I love his open mic karaoke. Waiting for you there. Love you. She seems so excited. Wonder what she's got up her sleeve. She's got divorce papers. <laughs> Find Jill at the pub. Well, I can't leave, apparently, so... I guess not. Excellent. I guess this is the pub. All right, hon. Drag me all the way out to be serenaded by Fat Tony's creative rendition of Hotel California. Must be something special. You're gonna ask him for an encore in a second here, trust me. <laughs> hey, Tommy. <laughs> Look. I... Oh, she's pregnant. I'm gonna be a father? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a baby! But how? You're scarring. I'm just as surprised as you. The doctors are stumped. It's not totally a miracle, but I'm pretty close. Holy fucking shit, babe. I... All right. Dave is busting out the expensive shit. Everyone in the house is getting shots. Oh no, he's gonna drink, drive, and crash, isn't he? All right, Doc. Good thing you're not on call. Let's do another one, then hit the road. I gotta interview a kid in the morning that's making solar panels for halfway houses. Oh, Jesus. I need at least another one after hearing that. I swear to God. Sometimes these people are just made up. 
I mean, I literally met you when you were wrist deep in an <laughs> orphan's spine, giving him a chance to Jesus walk Christ. Yeah. Romantic as fuck. But that's just work. Oh, come on, don't do your self-deprecating crap now. You're the best man I've ever met. Thanks. Just wish I always felt that way. But I do when I'm with you. But we know he loses his surgical license because of something that happens. Because we saw that in the opening. It's like when the truck hits the dad on the stage in Life is Strange. Jill? Jill? No. 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 Wake up. Twenty twenty one. You will never escape your mind. Thanks for that. Thanks for those words of encouragement, game. I'll need a screwdriver to open it. Your hope is meaningless. to activate the mirror from what I remember. Oh look, a beating heart. Excellent. Hmm. We did indeed kill our unborn child. I mean it could have been worse. It could have been our born child. Think how messy that would have been, hmm? I'll stop. <laughs> Pain is within me, but the truth of the eye is what fears me. I'm missing something, and I don't know what it is. Oh, is there there's keys? They were not there a minute ago, right? A huge, rusty key. What is that for? Aha. Oh, there's our screwdriver. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there a few seconds ago either. Hi. <laughs> I did not expect you to do that, but it's okay. Now I know what I'm doing in this game compared to the demo, or maybe they added in better direction. It certainly seems to feel like more, like, it, like it's running better than the demo did. A wheelchair, a figure of a man and a strange symbol. Stop. I can't come back. You know, I was in a coma for a month. With a broken femur, a broken ankle, a severe concussion. And all of that would have been fine. But... I lost my baby, my miracle child, my, my once-in-a-lifetime shot at being a mother. And I'm still hurting from that. You can't just keep drowning in guilt and abuse. So don't call me if you can't call sober. These energy readings are off the charts, literally. We have to invent new instruments just to measure these insane power spikes. Granted, the mutated piles of flesh hellbent on destroying all life are in an issue. But hey, all new breath breath breakthroughs are bound to come with a few hiccups. I can't wait to tell my wife Susan about this. When the money will to make off this, we'll be able to hire the Pilates instructor she's been talking about. Hi. You right there? <laughs> Hi. Find a way to turn the power and fix the broken wires. Is there a vent around here I need to crawl into, maybe? Hmm. 
Okay. I don't see what that gives us at all, moving that. Or moving this. But presumably it does something. Oh, it's a vent here. I guess we need it to get into the vent. Come here, you! I've got to do some vent climbing. Out the fucking way. The jumping is really jank. Like, it feels like it's broken, to be honest with you. Do you think I need the other one? I'll try. Yeah, I do. There we go. I remember there being something bum in these vents. Hi! Beautiful. <laughs> well, that made me shit myself a little. And I don't even know what it was. It's always near you, watching you, don't look into the abyss. So don't make eye contact with whatever that is. Got it. Alright, we got a locked case there of some description. My broken music box, it says, Alien streams lessen the hunger of the Mirror Forge. Well, well. I understand. Probably for a draw, draw or a chest. I should look around for the lever. Okay, we need a lever to fix the circuit box. Got it. You got the touch. You got the power. I don't know why that's in my head right now, but it is. Here we go. Here is our lever to fix the fuse box. Wonderful. I'm really curious, by the way, who controls the Idol Minx account. We need, like, tape or something? Yeah. Alright. Hi! Whoever the fuck you are. Unlimited power. Energy drink. Well, this place is really big. Well, got some duct tape. And an audio log. They are losing hope. The second activation broke their resolve. No one has had the metal to say anything to my face. I can hear them whispering. I see the cowards in their furtive glances. Weak minded fools. May not see that we are on the precipice of greatness. We activated the forge. It was <sighs> beautiful. Golden vistas. Fathomless desire. Power thou measure. They're so close to breaking through. I will not be denied. Hmm, okay. Interesting. All right. Oh. We've burned another one of the statues. I don't know if this is good. I feel like us doing this is probably strengthening some evil entity. And making things a lot worse. But it is, it is what it is. I think the person running the Idle Minx account might be my spy. I don't know. And you guys don't know who the spy is, but I do know who the spy is. 
Almost 80% of the population vanished following the mysterious blue explosion. Unidentified dangerous beings roam the streets. My mind's playing tricks with me. It seems that reality is fluctuating other worlds, colliding with our own. I've read about a similar thing back home about a foggy town in Maine. Tourists reported strange things happening in the streets after a supposed burning of a little girl by some cultists. Is that a, that's a Silent Hill reference, interestingly enough. <clears throat> which is which is good. Like me some Silent Hill references, guys. Here we go. Oh, 9173. Yeah. Hi. It's fine. All right, we did it. We did it. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> we get chased by a embodiment of the abo I'm the dead fetus. He got out of there alive, looking at your injuries, and to think he got out of it with just a broken hand. Oh no! So this is where we got to in the demo. I remember this bit being awful. I got a map. I remember there being nurses with no faces patrolling corridors and it being horrible. Is something I remember about this section. It's too far out of reach. Maybe I can find something to pull it towards me. How about your dick? <laughs> Got it. There we go. I've got a crutch. The clutch crutch. In we go. I got a small key for a draw. Well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the eyes are in the kitchen. The second I'm sitting in my home, only a hang on, did, did this note change? I feel like this note changes. I lock myself in the lab. I'm lost. It seems... Hang on. This is really annoying. What lab? I don't see a lab. I lock myself inside the lab, I'm lost. It seems reality crumbles around me, or maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. I don't know. One moment I'm in the lab, the second I'm in my home. Only it's not my home or the lab, it's a dark place. Even the rooms look different. They're struck between hell and here. I saw my dead brother. He's going to be my company now. <clears throat> yeah, this is all changed now. The nurses will patrol these, ha these halls shortly, I believe. And it makes this place much more challenging. We're gonna meet a little girl. Um, hello? Hi, what's your name? Leave me alone! Okay, okay. What's the matter? Why are you here all by yourself? I don't like the doctors. They're all around. Which doctors? There's nobody here. Oh, there is now. They don't see me. Nobody sees me. My mom was the only one that cared. I lost your photo, and I don't know how to be brave without it. Yeah? Would you feel better if I got that picture It's in for pieces, you? though, is the problem? You... You would? I'll get it for you. 
And in return, you'll tell me how to get out of this hellhole. Deal! I think I left it in room three. Alright. I had to replay a little chunk there, because the save system wasn't great, but still. So, Dr. Superman, what's your kryptonite? Oh, jeez. Uh, tough questions from intrepid reporters. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess talking about myself. Ask me about flesh-eating bacteria or spinal fusions. It's easier. Don't be so shy. This is the kind of human story that people want. It's not that. It's just... 15 years ago, I lost my memory. Some kind of accident. Total amnesia. Seriously? Yep. Woke up in a cornfield 20 miles out of town. Was scooped up by a farmer and his wife. Didn't know a thing about myself. Other than that, somehow I knew medicine and I needed to help people. Uh, hang on a minute. You, you woke up in a cornfield. We're taken in by a farmer and his wife, uh, took on a mission to save the world, and, and you're just now telling me to call you Dr. Superman? All right, I'm seeing it now. I swear to God I didn't make the connection. <laughs> that is very bizarre. So, from now on, I believe that there are now doctors patrolling. And it's not a good situation. I can't remember fully what they do. Room three, we're going to. I thought, I couldn't remember if they followed you or not, but I guess they do. There is a lot of them there. Do not want to stand on that, apparently. I don't know if this is room three. I thought it was, but I guess not. This is room three. Hi. Cleaned up the room as a new protocol. Lockdown means trash goes into storage 72 hours to disinfect before disposal. Just throw it in the bathroom for a few hours in a pinch. Look for the toilets to get the photo. Should be the door down here on the right. They're not crazy dangerous, but if they get a lat like like they latch onto you, you're in trouble. from the past inspiring you to dedicate your life to something noble you know 15 years ago there was an, an accident I, I also I'm really not sure what happened I wasn't living the best life back then it's okay if you don't want to talk about it but I'm happy to listen not much to tell honestly you know, I was out with some friends one moment the next moment I woke up in the hospital I had a big wound right there on my stomach and well, uh, on the outside of it, it really doesn't look so bad. Most of the damage and scarring is internal. Those can be the worst. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't really get in the way anymore. Just, uh... <sighs> I, I can't really have kids, is all. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I, I've always kind of wanted a little girl, but, uh... <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I, I am so sorry. This has gotten way off the rails here. <laughs> you know, who's interviewing who? <laughs> hey, I'd rather read about you anyways. Okay. We got a photo of Jill. 
Bring Jill's photo to the girl to ask for an explanation. It's like a whole fucking posse of them there. Wow. No, where the hell did she go? Jesus. She she sounds so upset. She sounded so angry there, like irrationally angry. <laughs> where the hell did she fucking go? I'll kill her. Like, what the fuck was that audio? Oh, hi. Can you fuck off, please? I'm really busy. I'm not that busy, that was a lie. I feel like they changed this bit significantly from originally, like it seems way easier than I remember it from the demo. So far this whole game, like the demo of this was a lot of what we played, right? Photo frame, it's covered by a slimy thing, maybe we can find something to clean it up. Find a way to clean the photo frame in the pharmacy. But yeah, generally, this seems a lot easier than what I recall it being. Last time I played it, which is interesting. Which is good, because it needed it, because it was kind of bullshit last time when I played the demo of this. Like, I thought it was, like, pretty mid. But this is so far, I, I quite like this. Thomas, whatever you are, whatever they Whatever you are, whatever out there that's fucking with me, you won't stop me. Whatever you are, whatever's out there that's fucking with <laughs> me, you won't stop me. That made me jump, I didn't notice that was suddenly there. All right, progress. That took me nearly like 30 minutes Jill. last time. No, this isn't real. This isn't real. I'll find you, Jill. I'll find you. Some of the stuff in this is un, un, un like really comical, <laughs> like way more than it should be. I'm quite enjoying this though so far. Uh, it was something to say, so this is out the demo now. From here on in, this is new. Hey, wait. I wonder if she's our dead kid. In true horror game fashion. So this is all new now, this is where the demo ended. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing from here on out. Go through... I did that already, game. Oh, she take my shit? I think she took all my shit. She didn't take my painkillers, but she took my torch, my lighter. Need a key here. I finally sort of helped out with all the things I was keeping inside. If it weren't, if it, if it weren't for Doctor Samuel's, I wouldn't have taken my own life. Okay. Isn't that us? So all these need keys. A photo frame. Two years since the accident, one year since I lost my job, my rock bottom, my only reason is like to crawl back up. I'm guessing, by the way, that they both were like sucked into the mirror forge and we went like back through time or some shit. And that's why we showed up with amnesia. You know what I mean? Both of us. Yeah, You're mine and soul are mine. The Anunnaki will pay. Okay, I mean, it's better than play. I'll, t I'll take that. They've done a good job with the Silent Hill aesthetics here, like, it's, it's very much like being in Nightmare Silent Hill all the time. Like, it's definitely got its flaws, but so far, pretty good. You got a gravestone in a, um... Do you know that someone walking or a clock? It's very dark, by the way, like really fucking dark. She made a jigsaw puzzle of us, a gift for our first anniversary. That's hideous. Someone's in the other room. 
And by leave of absence, though, this surgeon can't perform with a fucked up hand. Okay, I can't read that, but... I feel like I'm making bad calls doing this. Drawing. Okay. This is just things that happened in our life, right? That didn't happen. Like, the baby got cancelled because it got killed. <laughs> Shouldn't probably phrase it that way, but you get the gist. Can I turn the brightness up? I probably can't, right? Oh, I can! Although I think it's more like... Uh, that's not particularly helpful, I'm going to be honest with you. An old key. Probably the door in that weird apartment. Oh. Literally this door. Let's close that for now. Well, I definitely could see a bit more there, so that's good. The unpaid bills piling up day by day. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Thank fuck for that. Thomas, that's it. This is the third fucking time you've tried to pull this shit. A surgeon with an impaired hand is one thing, okay? But a surgeon who keeps trying to operate drunk? That's another. I'm sorry, but you're out. Go get some fucking help. He's sorry, he lost. Oh, he's just called manager. So he lost his job because he was drunk. <laughs> drunk in charge of a surgeon's knife. Not an ideal situation, let me be honest with you. Well, the game's saved, so... I think this has changed. This definitely has changed. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I just died. Holy shit. That was abrupt. I mean, it just saves, so that's no big deal, but like, what kill- what- how do I avoid that? I think I'm being chased right now. Yeah, I was. Okay. I had to run. Hello? I broke it. She's frozen. Cold like a doll. She hates me. She won't let me mend her wounds. Won't talk to me anymore. And I'm so lonely down here. Yeah, man. Spooky shit. I really just need to get to Gorberg. I see you're broken, too. Your thoughts are shattered, your mind numb. Hey, can we cut the cryptic shit? Fine. Take that door over there and you're on your way. What door? So, you know the mirror's got- oh my god. Hopefully I don't see him again too soon. What? The guy who helped you? Oh. Okay, I was going to say, is there a puzzle to solve? Apparently not. It's got the trophy, a way out. Oh no. These are crash test dummies here. I forgot this is a mechanic. These crash dummies are garbage. Worthless. They already said the Mirror Forge won't work without organic matter. Why are we still keeping them in this facility is beyond me. The first test when we used them was a complete failure. Okay. I mean, that makes sense why they're here, though, I guess. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank fuck. I can see again. I will say, I like the fact the light sources in this game light things up. It's revolutionary. Uh, hold it. Hurry up and barricade that door. Don't 
Don't you fucking let that get inside. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, they're coming through the walls. Definitely looks like they did, yeah. Oh well, you're probably dead now. Just like everyone else here. I don't know what that thing that killed me in the corridor was. It was like an umbrella for a head. It's what it is. Hi! I really hope this game has, doesn't have like a horrible last boss fight, but it probably will. There's such a trend of it recently, it drives me nuts. What the hell? The mirror doesn't seem to be working anymore. I mean, did you try and go through it again? And why did you try and go through it again, you fucking weirdo? Hmm. Oh no, all the doors are locked. What do I do? Oh, wait for one to be unlocked, I guess is the answer. Are you fucking kidding me? It sounded like something unlocked there, right? Oh, it's under the door. But yeah, these bits... They really do it well. Like, shockingly well. It's a nice looking game for... Especially because this is horror... This is just horror engine. Which is a modified version of Unreal for horror games. And it's doing... Oh, we haven't seen you guys for a while. Probably should, uh... Vaguely written in the corner, 4,500 BC, outskirts of Uruk. I have no idea what that is. I'm really glad this door opened, though. That should have cleared the way back there. Oh wow! I'm really glad that I noticed the route. Proceed further down the facility. It's not too helpful, but still. I do like the designs of these. I feel sorry for them. Where did it clear away? I don't see a cleared way. That's the problem with no is noticing where I had to go beforehand. Like all these doors are still locked. Maybe the, the mirror's out open now? Or maybe this way, I didn't go this way before. Okay, this looks practical and the game just saved, so it probably is this way. Excellent. I will say, using that medallion thing to freeze them does make shit pretty tense. I feel like I'm probably getting a bad ending doing this. Can I just say? Way, at least she'll die for a worthy cause. Saving what's left of us. I feel like ever since Marvel, everything has to be a fucking multiverse. And I fucking hate the word multiverse. It genuinely triggers me, the word multiverse. Gods of ancient Mesopotamia, Sumerian civilization, 3500 BC, gods, aliens, and interdimensional beings. Okay. I guess I had to read that. Sounds really bad. Oh God. Yep. This is what I thought it was. It's a chase sequence. Holy shit. 
Ay, güey. Don't know where to go there. No, oh, it's so cheap having that kind of thing in a chase sequence where you don't know where to, what to do. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's try this again. Maybe I should try pressing the green button. I didn't even realize that was a button, if I'm honest with you. Hopefully this is the right way. Oh, okay. I think we did it. All right, cool. We got past it. 2003. The year I woke up. Can't remember a thing before it. Wallet in my pocket said my name was Thomas Jackson, and somehow I knew medicine. We know this already. Come on. Let's go. We're only about halfway through the game, I think, at the moment. Oh, hi. Eternal cries of the unborn, ripped from ether before taking form. Such things are commonplace torments. True desolation is far more insidious. Insidious? The popular horror franchise? To see the way forward, you must look back. Alright, so turn back the clock to a time before you remember. Can't get through there without like a crowbar or some shit, it looks like. I've got a feeling this time loot stuff is not gonna go well, eh? My own box. Pretty sure I'm freeing a demon. No new <laughs> agony. I must find my salvation. That's lovely. But if you could unlock the door here. No? Okay, I guess we're going back. The flesh is gone, so that's always a good start. Hey! Come back here, you little- This is literally Laura. She's behaving just like Laura from Silent Hill 2. What are you gonna call her, huh? What are you gonna call her, Thomas? You gonna be mean to a kid? Huh? 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 I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this clock, by the way. I definitely wasn't there before. I wonder if there's like a clue elsewhere? I know what a clown clock It only has a minute hand, so the minute hand is seven. Got it. Surely we could brute force it then, right? Although it hasn't let us do that with a... with a lot of puzzles so far, right? Alright, that's in the right place then. Oh, I can't interact with it anymore. Did I have it right? Well, I can't interact with it anymore, so that's probably a good sign. Yeah, I definitely can't. Alright. Yep, this door opened. Excellent. Oh, we can get through here. There you go. I guess we got it right by chance. Here it is. How could I have been so blind? Have 
everything was written on the ancient Sumerian tablets. God, those ancient Sumerian tablets. They believed it was a godly entity. We know it's an interdimensional being, omnipresent and all-powerful. What the? Stone figurine. It's like the ones from before, right? Oh, hi! I'm not quite sure why you needed me to look at that. You alright guys? How's it going? How's the family? Good? Excellent. Need to find the other piece. Okay, so we need to find bits of paper to finish that off. Find the other parchments and combine them on top of the chest. Oh, there's a piece here. Maybe I could glue it together. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. Oh, this is a locked door. That's probably where fake Laura went. Mm, another piece. Clock seems to be fine. Oh. <clears throat> and here's another piece. That door is also locked, which is interesting. Strange sketch. It is the devourer of realities. The Anunnaki locked it up in an eternal prison, but the key to that prison could only be carried by a human bearer. Someone special, too. Someone so special that it sets them apart from the alone in the multiverse. Triggered! Doesn't happen very often. This thing. It nearly destroyed this reality. Don't give it a chance to do so again. I'm pretty sure I'm giving it a big chance to destroy the world right now. The fuck was that noise? Alright, this door opened. I like the way the flashlight's either like so bright you can't see anything, or so dark you can't see anything. I was a young fool when he first imprisoned me, banished to the 503rd layer of the abyss, Torimor, by my own lover, the one I never thought could even dream my betrayal. I sunk claws into the flesh of titans, made ladders from their backs, and crawled towards salvation. I was hungry, so hungry I grew careless. They locked me away in my own feeding grounds. This time I will not stop to savor the agony. There will be none left to banish me a third time. <laughs> Hi there. I've been called many names by your kind. Dim, Lilic, Lilith, Namashtu, but only seven of them are true. That's great and everything, but if you could let me leave this room, that'd be great. Look, I understand that you're having a shit time, you were betrayed by your lover, you want to destroy the world. I get it! I get it! I feel that way all the time. But, well, maybe not, actually, but still, I empathize, all right? Okay? I empathize, but if we could just let me leave the room now, that'd be great. No? All right. What else do you want? Aha. Uh -huh. A secret door. Well, thank you for insi- oh god. Thank you for insisting that I stay in Jamville. Fuck off. Hey, how's it going? Thomas? What the hell are you doing here? Who the fuck Sorry. are you? I'm not trying to trouble you. I'm just trying to get to something called the Forge. Wait, uh, how do you know my name? I told you it's from this dimension. Uh, the mirror forge blast. The transition barrier to other dimensions heavily affects your mind. Like what an EMP does to electronics. You, you remember nothing of your past. Oh shit, those are actual events. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you were born here, Thomas. 
in this dimension. You were part of Project Mirror Forge. You were our doctor. Oh my god, that's pr Oh my- I told you! I fucking uh, told you! The gods from 3500 BC, ancient Mesopotamia, are all interdimensional, all-powerful beings. When the Mirror Forge was activated, we caused a crack in the multiverse. Um, uh, we fucked it up. Wait, so... Well, more specifically, it... Uh, it was like a, a, a hammer, causing a crack in the prison of the primordial demoness, Lamashtu, the devourer of realities. The Anunnaki locked her up. The only way to open the cage is a key. That, or just smashing her dimension in, into ours until enough cracks open for her to slither through. Uh, how do you... What I can't figure out is how you've gotten the mark of Anu, the prime god infused on your palm. It's the key that unlocks her prison. If she gets you, not just this reality, but all realities will be consumed by her. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold up. Stop for a second. I got this in a car accident two years ago. Oh, oh really? Yeah, ever seen a scar bear so much resemblance to the cuneiform symbol of Anu, Thomas? Wonder why you can seemingly hop dimensions? No. No. That's the mark of Anu. It does explain where you went 20 years ago. I honestly just thought you were dead. How do you know all this? How do I know you're not just another trick? I know because I was there. We were uh, friends once, and all things considered, it, it is good to see you, Thomas. But, but listen to me. Lamashtu must not find you. Just look at what she's done to our reality, and... This is just a fraction of her true power, but, but she can't fully escape without the mark of Anu. Go back now. I can't do that. They took Joe, the woman I love. I took an oath to protect her. And I failed that once. I won't let her suffer again because of me. You were once willing to sacrifice all of us for the dreams of some madman. And now you're going to sacrifice the whole world for some woman yeah I can I'm consistent there's nothing else to discuss there's the Thomas cycle okay go back the way you came this way is blocked and Thomas it's well, maybe it's better you don't lose the voice acting in this is really good like it's sort of far outweighs the quality of like the graphics and stuff but yeah look so, it was triggered in 1998, which caused the Tunguska event, which, which is a real thing. 2001, the Renoka Colony. 2003, Mary Celeste. 2023, Devil's Womb Canyon. So these are things that, well, this one isn't real, obviously, but the other three are real events that happen, real mysteries. Um, and that's interesting. Right, that door's open now. Excellent. That's creepy. I mean, there's a lot of creepy visuals in this that work pretty well. Hi! You are spiders, but babies. I don't like it. What's the other way? I want a gun to shoot the spider babies. Oh no, I'm gonna need a code, right? Shut the fuck up, alright? Just because you're some ancient Mesopotamian deity doesn't mean shit. Okay? Alright? Shut the fuck up. We're gonna have to go past the babies. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do here, but we'll we'll try using the artifacts, I guess. God, these things are horrible. Okay, so I can paralyze them. For quite a long time. Oh, 
Okay, so you can stand on this shit. Alright, so we need that gear for something. Question is, where? There we go. Alright, so we put the gears. There's another one over there. Don't actually need to paralyze them. Need to parkour. That should do it. Now to pull the lever. Excellent. And there's the key card? Yep. Ah! Fuck you. We got a bit, but only a little bit. <laughs> that was, I, I was. I quite like that. That was fun. That was fine. Well designed. There we go. Shit. Michael, it's over. The seal of Nur is gone. Not the, the seal of Nur. Without it. I can't even try to hop dimensions to get out of here. There's always the sigils. All right. Well, I can't believe we're even considering this. If we do this, we're no better than those madmen that worship her. Bury the sanctimonious bullshit. If they get a hold of the Mark's bearer, that's it for everyone. Lamashtu will be free. We just want to escape to a safer reality. She has a name, you know. It's Jill, and you're talking about killing her. We don't have time for this. We need to take her to Aldred's Manor. People, come on, let's move. Aldred's Manor? Is that where it all started? Hi, I'm just trying to pick up this thing here. Cult of Lamashtu in Goldberg. Oh, lovely. Listen, Thomas, I, I think... I think he's been lying to us. I, I know it sounds crazy, but... Ever since we first turned out that fucking machine, <clears throat> Erldred has been obsessed with piercing the veil. And every time we do, it goes to shit. Don't you ever wonder what exactly he's seeing through those cracks? Hmm. I do not know. I do not know, person. Autopsy report for specialist Jane Smith died April 5th, 2003 of a lethal morphine overdose. Ruled an accidental death with suspicion of a probable suicide. Oops, I accidentally injected myself with some morphine. I guess if you want to kill yourself, you could do that, yeah. No, let's not do that. Making bad decisions. Making bad decisions, guys. I love me some bad decisions. If anything happens to me. Oh, she didn't Just kill herself. I didn't do it to myself. Okay? Well, in that case, she did not kill herself. And that old red guy probably did it because she was like, you're a sussy baka. And he was like, I am a day. Anyway, let's keep going. Through death, purification, Lady of Eternal Twilight, dim me. Oh, that's the that's the name. That's the that's one of listing her names. Oh, well, apparently that's where I need to go up into that vent. But let's look around first. Oh, this is a painting of Jacob Boulder. He looks like a reliable man. CEO of Hermitronic, Jacob Aldred begins his Mirror Forge project to solve the world's most pressing needs, saving the environment through clean, renewable energy. Aldred's Mirror Forge is reported to use a proprietary technology to tap into previously undiscovered sources of reality. I think is the answer there. Oh shit. Oh shit! Look! That was like this dimension when it all went to shit. Hmm. 
Oh, here. Here. Hardcore parkour. I like it, I like it. That actually went surprisingly well. I can unlock this room. It's stuck. I mean, it's not stuck. There was just a giant baby head there, obviously. The safety door at the front of the train should be open now. Okay. I'm glad you know what's going on, because I had no fucking idea. How's it going, guys? That's right. I think you're so fucking good. I only just made it through there, by the way. Wow, we've got a very squelchy environment here. I can't believe we were so, so wrong. We weren't just tapping into a plane of infinite power. We were tapping into a thing. There's something on the other side, whispering. I can't believe I was so blind. Jane. Jane was right. <laughs> Earldred is leading us to damnation. And now... She's dead. Should listen to Jane then, huh? Hmm? Hmm? This looks welcoming. Well, hi, guys. I can't see shit right now. Well, so I think something killed the other thing. Oh, there's a searchlight. Don't get seen by the searchlight, I think, was the tutorial there. Or you die. You get squished. But I don't know what it was because I couldn't see because the, the game kind of glitched out with the camera. But, um, you know. Hi. You may have seen me. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we gotta go through this without getting seen. Okay, this seems probably safe in here. We got a save point. That isn't quite what I went to do, but we'll, we'll take it. Go, 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 go. I feel like when you're going up the stairs, it breaks the lights. Did you see that? It was like... Whoa, whoa. All right, let's watch this one a little bit. So far... If it goes back again, it will, I think. One more. And then maybe one more after that. Or not? No. Okay. Gotta wait for it to go to the right, then go past it. I 
I've got to save, and this vent dropped open, so let's go in the vent. The vents in this game so far have been completely safe without any consequences for actions whatsoever, so, you know, it's totally fine. Oh, shit. Just wait in the vent for a minute, guys. Okay, so we have there. I feel like these are pretty glitchy. There, there, there. Another one or not? Yeah, there. So when it goes here, I need to book it, right? Don't have very long, but I think it's doable. You could maybe do it on this next one as well. No, you definitely couldn't. Come on. Go, 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 go. Fuck. Alright, we can't get through there. Hmm. What am I meant to be doing, game? Probably gonna die at least once here, because this is kind of bullshit position. And that's fine. The saves have been very lenient so far. I can't fault them, really. Oh, I see. There's a valve in the middle. There's a valve in the middle, that's what I need. Not the forklift truck. Alright, so when it goes back, I've got to be really on it. It's that, see? I'm an idiot, I walked right past it. There we go. Me? Going through a stealth section without dying? What the fuck is happening? Who are me? Who, who are me? Me? Who are? Me. <laughs> There's more here though, look. Oh shit. Look, I do like the designs, by the way. A lot. I'm just gonna watch his pattern for a minute. Get an idea of what he's doing. Alright, this looks like a dead end this way for sure. I mean, you could drop down here, but I feel that would also be a massive waste. Oh, I think I see what you have to do. So he can't see you here, because this is in the way. So when he casts again here, I book it the other way. It's so cold in this room right now, guys. Like, fucking hell. Like, my hands are freezing. Does that count as that or not? That did count as that. Fuck. Well, we can wait a few more seconds. The background noises in this are thoroughly unpleasant all the time, which is quite nice. Alright, you ready? Go, 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 go. <sighs> Alright, that took me to this side. <sighs> I'm guessing that was what I needed to do. But I'm not fully sure what have I, I have achieved here. Haven't been here though, so you know. <laughs> Fuck me. Just walked immediately into that like a complete dickhead. Go through the open gates and look for a way out. Oh, we're up on the walkway where he was before. Right? Those opened up now, see? Okay. I see where I have to go.
Oh, I can't jump down from here? Are you fucking kidding me? There's got to be a way down, right? All the way back? Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Fuck you. If the mirror doesn't let me go back... I'm not entirely sure on the best way down. Oh, hi. I guess going through there is a no-go. What the fuck do I do then, once I've fucking done that? Hmm. God. So where I live, it never snows. I have not seen the snow here for ten years. Right? Maybe even more. And it snowed today. And I hate it. Because it's so fucking cold. Should be illegal to be this cold. Yeah, there's no way down. What the fuck? I'll be back, guys. I'll try and figure out what to do. I had to look this up. There's a fucking ladder here that you can barely fucking see. Time to run. Uh, is the floor raising? Or is that just because it's moist? Well, we got away. What well, I think it was the chasey thing from before. Definitely seems to like us a lot. Massive bumpkin, apparently. I almost overjumped that and died. Ah. Okay. <coughs> Very squelchy around here. Oh god, there's more of those fucking things. Follow the jam. Hopefully they don't follow you across this, but I've got a feeling they might. Well, maybe not. Hi. There's some really cool aesthetic choices in this game. I'm being chased again, apparently. No idea why I died there. Just dropped dead. Even though I was running full speed. That kind of stuff annoys me. Like, you gotta have consistency. I was running full tilt. What am I supposed to be doing? You know? Like, it's saved right here, so it's no big deal. But it is annoying. <gasps> I'm guessing I need to hit this and it'll kill it, because things seem to catch fire. 
I uh, fucked up, I think. Oh no, it was just scripted. It catches fire for... I'm not really sure why! It just caught fire. Didn't mean to do that. Go away. Go away. A map of the countryside. The Convergence almost upon us. Our Holy Mother Lamashti will soon deliver us from this wretched place. I do not know what our God wants with this woman. She seems shockingly ordinary. I've forgotten what it's like to live 20 years of this. I did not realize how far I'd come from the man teaching children to paint. I do not know what awaits us all on the other side of this. Can I go back to being the man I once was? I have done so much worse than this one final sin, and yet I cannot bear to even look at her. What even is salvation if my soul is damned? I don't know, Nomkin. Sounds pretty bombus to me. Oh my god, oh woo. Oh god, everything's squelchy again. Hi guys, it's going? No idea what you guys are, but you kicked the shit out of me. And there were quite a lot of you. If I come across this again, I'm probably gonna die. Wow, this place is super shit. I really need to heal, but I'm scared to stop in case the spider babies come. There you go. Gobble down those painkillers. Mm-mm-mm. Don't know what's with the spontaneous combustion of everything near me at the moment, but it seems really, really weird. Tone changes so much when you're inside. It's kind of nuts, actually. Mummy? I'm not gonna lie, it's the Vower of Worlds chick has a pretty hot voice. I'm inclined to just let her eat the world at this point in time. Just on the basis of her voice, alright? Like, I mean... Yeah, I'm thirsting after an ancient Sumerian god who probably wants to kill me, but, you know. She's got a hot voice, alright? Okay. Major selling point. Crazy. I can still hear them. The whispers in the empty hallways. The screams of those few that survived the blast. People are being torn apart by those monsters. Yeah, but she's hot. Wow, this place seems lovely. Hi! Oh, holy shit. This game has so many interesting aesthetic choices. And it's nightmare scapes. Am I just back in the church? I am. But I found a seat. This was like a teleporter to the other side. Which is fine. Bullshit, that hurts me. That's so fucking rude. What? I love my terror, my agony, my ecstasy. One cannot exist without the other. <laughs> I did not expect that, to be honest with you, a wibbly wobbly man in the mirror. I thought I was going to get chased down the long corridor, but... Wibbly wobbly mirror man also works. Oh shit, I guess that was important. This draw, this draw, oh my god! Wow, she caused us to have the car crash. Back door to the cemetery. It wasn't my fault. I'm gonna find Jill, and then I'm gonna lock the door on this monster. Once and for all. So Lamashtu caused us to have the car crash? I mean, we were drunk driving, I just wanna stress this. Like... We were drunk driving. Which, you know, 
probably wasn't the smartest call we could have made, or the best call, or a call we should have done at all. But, um... Hmm... This one? No. Shit. Well, where is the back door to the cemetery, then? Oh. Okay. I'm sure I tried that one, but never mind. Oh, shit me. Okay, this is... There's a lot of people here who are fast. Which could be an issue. I am so fucking lost right now, guys. I'm also panicking completely. Oh, did the game pause there? I thought I didn't think the game paused. I'm, I'm glad I did that. Just book it. This is stealth, guys. I don't know if we're meant to be doing stealth here, but this is my stealth, all right? I feel like I'm going back on myself here, which is certain death. Bullshit. Out the fucking way, nerds, alright? I have no idea where I'm gonna be going, guys. Could be anywhere. They're all whispering as well, like little bumbuses. And normally the whispering's where you need to go, but they're all whispering. Fucking assholes. This is where I started, right? This is the last heal I'm doing because I don't want to do this. I'm gonna, I don't want to lose all my fucking health. Maybe up here? Follow the lanterns? It's worth a shot. This looks new. Okay. Can't follow the lanterns anymore, but they're definitely seems to be more men this way that we than, than we have seen previously. Alright, this is bad. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't heal again, but I did. It's the scientist from those visions. The one that figured out Erldred was under Lamashtu's influence. What happened to her? I mean, she was killed by Eldred. We know this already, right? Oh, something's happening. Oh, the game's just loading slightly, I guess. Use the Seal of Nerd to reveal the frozen moment. Jane, so nice of you to stop by. Oh, did we kill her? You look worried. How can I help you? We fucking killed her. And you're sure you haven't shared this theory? That's good. We don't. We killed her because we were obsessed with the mirror Listen, forge. Jane, I hear you, but we have to be a hundred percent sure. Let me give you something to help you relax, and then tomorrow I promise. We'll get to we killed her. This. We're about to find out that we're a massive piece of shit. Mr. Eldred, it's done. She won't be a problem anymore. This crossed a big... Oh, boo-hoo! You just killed someone you feel this bad about it? Be worth it. Well... I... I, I don't... Oh, fuck. Oh, technically has gone. Oh, God, no. I remember now. I... I... You almost freed me once. That is where you started. 
Fuck you. Oh wow, that's a big boy there. Games. I can't change what I did, but I can try and fix this. I'm coming for you. Wow, we're a terrible fucking person. <laughs> we drunk drive and killed a baby. And, and, hang on, also, why did we go to jail for that? Surely that's like a crime, right? I just realized there was like, there was no like legal repercussions as far as I can tell for what we did. A shrine of Lamashtil. It looks like the limbs are placed to form the symbol, but some of them are missing. Oh, okay. I hope we finish the ritual and open the gate to Gorberg. The monster attacks have increased. The cult of Lamashtu suffered heavy casualties. I wish we had more time. Three severed limbs are required to be placed on the stone pedestal in the form of Lamashtu's symbol to summon her wrath. I've been informed that three severed arms have been left in the hangar when the cultists ambushed the military team. If I manage to bring those limbs to the altar, we'll be able to break through the gate and proceed to Gorberg. Alright. We have an objective. Sounds bad in here, though. Listen, do not see. Invisible monsters, listen and survive. Rely on your hearing. Oh, fuck me. I mean, you can kind of see them. <clears throat> That's limb number one. Limb number two is in a surprisingly easy to spot position. Which probably means number three is somewhere super bullshit. There's one there. You can see them pretty clearly. They're only like half assed invisible. I think that's everything, right? Three limbs? Oh. I guess we did it. I think that was meant to be harder than it was meant to be, that bit. Harder than... I think it was meant to be harder than it was, that's what I mean. I mean, it did say summon Lamashtu's wrath, right? Hi! Didn't see you there. Could be in trouble here, guys. Oh, it's fading to black, so I guess not. I guess we're going back to Gorberg. Or not. It's weird the way it does that, right? Like, it's like, it's like it's loading, but it's not. Gates of my prison. The mark of honor. Seared into you. Lining light casts the blackest shadow. My domain. Where the light goes. I follow. Map of the town of Gorberg. I guess we're back on the mean streets of Gorberg. I guess that doesn't hurt me? I mean, it went straight through me, and the subtitles are broken, which is excellent. Oh, now they're gone. Now they sorted themselves out. Oh, a pharmacy. Might have some more meds. I'll use. Oh, God. All right, suck a dick, guys.
I panicked a bit there. I don't know why I set it off again. Oh shit, that was a light. I was under this so I didn't get seen. Holy shit, that was clutch. Oh, that counts! That's kind of bullshit. At least it just saved. I will say, game should have probably finished by now. I think we've got over an hour to go of the actual game. I do look up the length of stuff. And I'm not going at like the fastest pace either. But like, like it's not the end of the world, but... When it, when it goes all... I'm under the fucking thing! What the fuck, game? Suck a dick! That's such bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. It didn't protect me last time, but this time it doesn't. What is going on? But yeah, game overstays its welcome around this point, I would say. Like, horror game, I'm gonna be real. I keep saying 10 to 10 hours. That's only if it's a masterpiece. Like, usually 2 to 3 hours... That's the most you want for a horror game. I'm gonna die again here, I think. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Back there, and then it goes to the other one. I think down here. Maybe a door opens that way eventually. Also, doing the entirety of this without a checkpoint is kind of bullshit, too. I just want to see where it goes here. I can't remember. It's just the general area. Okay, there's no cover or anything. So when it goes backwards, we can just book it. We don't have to do that again. We don't have to do that again. But yeah, like, there are exceptions to, like, the, the short horror game rule. But they are very few and very far between. So how did you do it? Does it even matter? Even though it had to be done, don't like to think that she suffered. She did her suffering long before. I didn't add to it. I... Thomas, better than anyone. Every soul lost. <sighs> must remember we gained a purchase with our unfortunate and necessary sins. I haven't lost my way, Jacob. I did what I had to, but Jane didn't deserve to die. No, neither do the millions that starve every day. For those born with no chance at a normal life. Jane's death is regrettable, but necessary. You took action because you knew what was at stake. Without you, Thomas, I wouldn't be on track for the third activation. You saved this project. God, we were a fucking idiot. A hungry man walked a slippery slope. He was followed by a maddened pig. He heard a howl and raised his gaze to see a rabid wolf. A spider watched the ambush when he heard the sound of doom. Raging fire engulfed the forest, one that'll be their tomb. The man ate the mushroom and the wolf ate the pig. The spider went down to the river, but the fire was silenced by the wind. 
Who died? This better not be for a... Oh no, it's a fucking puzzle. I am the darkness. <laughs> Alright, we need a fuel canister anyway before we do anything else. There it is. Solve the riddle from the paper and start up the generator. Go through the open door. Excellent. I definitely did not cheat. Like, 100% I didn't cheat. What door did I open? There's no open door in here. It must be where the crawly thing is. Excellent. Ah, uh, this. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. They kind of, they're pretty speedy for little blob people. What's really nice, you can't open doors and use this at the same time. You know what I mean? Her chains are too weak to keep her bound. Your only salvation lies in the fragments of the tablet made by my son in Leal. Okay. You're the good guy, right? This piece will empower the seal of Nerd. Find the other and you will be ready to face her. Alright, so we need one more piece. Hey, wait. Why me? Why the fuck did you have to pick me? Chosen. A god does not choose. We deal only in destiny. What in the hell is that supposed to mean? For you, there is no other. There is always one, and only one. One whose reflection does not cast across the multiverse. I thought that you could take my mark out of her reach forever. Travel the astral planes of reality far beyond where she could find. But where my light went, the shadow followed and marked another. Another like you, a lone soul. Jill. Okay. So where do I get the other thing from? Aha! Parkour time. Alright, so find the other item. Come back here. Everyone's happy. Boom. No idea where I've got, I'm just kind of like legging it around and shit's happening. Homeless shelter and orphanage. That was on the map. <laughs> it's probably nothing, right? Oh, hi! No flashlight use while I'm here. So research into the multiverse doppelganger phenomena has led to some fascinating and confounding results. Each dimension is some distorted reflection of another, and each of us has our own counterpart. However, what remains consistent are the Anunnaki. They exist as singular entities, passing through each reality at will. However, they are bound to certain cosmic laws. It's now better to think of them as forces of nature woven into each other like a river. Where one goes, the ripples of the others follow. Okay, so no flash... What, what am I walking on? Key. Oh my god, game. Thank you. A red painted key. Excellent.
Oh, I can use the lighter. Oh, the light is almost as good as the fucking thing then. It doesn't matter. I thought like I had no light source. The light is fucking great in this game. Find the three skulls and place them on the stone pedestals. Got it. Pazuzu loves them skulls. There's a second skull. Why didn't that one do that? I guess it had to be the specific skull that it wanted. God, I don't. Don't you hate it when you haven't got the right skull in your collection of skulls? It is always a bit of a bugger. Doesn't like it's working. Maybe can find. Oh, like so. This is a teleporter up to the top floor. Probably need to find the other skull first, right? Maybe not. We haven't been this way yet. Sorry to interrupt your meal. Oh, cavernous mouth of the void. Boy, did a massive. Did just shot a head out right in front of me. No fucking manners at all. Hmm, that still isn't active. Pazuzu, my old nemesis, rushed to me with the power of a thousand hurricanes and anger of the west and winds. I stood helpless, staring at my own reflection. I prayed that Anu, my lover, will forgive me and extend his hand to me. But the great Anu just turned his head to the side. It was then I knew that I, Lamashtu, would always be alone. Wow. I didn't realize that Manu was such a little bitch. So what's this done? Analyze the painting and rotate the skulls accordingly. But... Hang on. How do I know who's who? I don't know who's who. It's good, this could be anyone. And none of them are hot. They lied to me. Let's just have them all both look away. There you go. That was way easier than I thought it was. Ever since the twilight day when the mirror forge exploded, life has been one long hell. Days and nights bleed into each other. We can't tell if it's been days, weeks, years. We've gathered ourselves in the old homeless shadow instead of a base of operations. I don't know how long we can take it. These monstrosities keep coming again and again. I just hope we'll survive long enough to see another day. They, they probably didn't. What fascinates me is the mention of those unbound from this web. In each reality, there will be one person not reflected across the dimensions. This person isn't chosen. It, it, it's more like a bug in the system, an inherent flaw in the design of reality that cannot be stamped out. These individuals are static, not experiencing the same gradual life merge dilemma of other dimensional travelers. They should, theoretically, be able to wield the seal of Nur and not suffer a complete interdimensional cascade disintegration. Some big words there for uh, whatever you just said. Oh no. Took you long enough. Oh hi. I'm not talking to you. You're not real. Of course I'm real. See? I don't have time for your games. Are you going to save my mom? Oh no. Jill isn't your mother. Who's Jill? <laughs> Little my children, but no taste is so sweet as to rip from the womb a gift you gave. To savor the agony of lost hope, a miracle given and taken. <laughs> Just seems like a nice girl. Just misunderstood, you know?
Check the paper on the kid's chair. Probably the brat has drawn the thing. Could this be a hint for the door code? It definitely could be. But where... It was only a mirror before becoming a hole. Where is the door code that I need to put in? Oh, here. Okay. So we need to look around and figure it out. Something about water? Nine is the last one, so it's nine something something nine. Six. And then the bear? Where's the fucking bear? 9629? There we go. Genius. Hi there. How's it going? Just having a little look around your room. Don't, don't mind me, okay? I'm considering buying a place here, so, you know. December 3rd, 2022. It's getting colder. I don't know if we'll survive the winter. There aren't enough rations. Dimitri standing on its last legs in this hellspawn. They say they are people's deepest fears. Yesterday, a large snake ambushed the front lines. It turns out that my friend's Jack Jackie's deepest fear is snakes. How can we stand our ground against such an evil? I do not know. It's got the trophy, any survivors. I'm guessing no? There was that old man, right? And the doctor guy we saw who said he knew us. The research has found that only those part of either the Mark of Anu or the Sigil of Mashtu were able to cross realities unhindered. Where to find these is anyone's guess. The texts are extremely vague, simply stating one cannot be without the other. We know the information we need is on the tablet in the gymnasium. The problem is, every time we try to get close, Lost three people for some damned rock. I'm not losing another. Alright, find a way to the school gym. We're in, hey, wait, we're not in a school right now, right? Or are we? We just got a key. Which presumably is the way forward. We definitely seem to be going the right way. I think that was a jump scare. It was more like a seizure. But, you know. The thought was there. Can I get this to the door? Nah. I tried, guys. I tried for you. I guess in this room anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're alien gods, huh? The worst kind. Hi! What a nice little nomkin. Did you see that? He was so shy. I feel like this is going to go really badly. Trouble is, there's no elegant way to find this person without extensively cataloging every single human on the planet in each dimension and finding the odd man out. So, this whole line of research is basically out the window. I'm so fucking tired of all of these dead ends. This is just like the sigil and mark. I've tried every conceivable combination, mixture, medium, and it's still just a weird looking room. Oh, it did make for a cool tattoo, though, so I guess it's not a total waste of time. This looks like this could be the gym. Okay. What 
the fuck am I looking at here? He's doing like backflips, that one was. Holy shit. We need to open this door, clearly. Or at least activate the mirror so we can get in the door? Right? Like, whatever way I turn this, though, he's just doing it. Right? Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. There you go. I apparently solved the puzzle. There's something bad in here, though, right? Because everyone died, apparently. Hi. Oh god, I don't like this. I still think we have quite a bit to go as well. Let's do this. Oh. What is this then? There's something there, right? Like, I'm not being an idiot. Don't answer that. Do I... Do you think I have to angle it myself? I probably do. But at what? Like, this would make sense, but... It seems pretty glitchy. Right? There you go. Got there in the end. Oh, these are the things we need, right? Maybe? I think we won. Oh, shit. I can't believe you're still alive. I could have sworn you were monster food by now. Who the fuck are you? And you are? I'm Kyle, sir. Nice to meet you. I'm the scientist who helped you make the acid back in the industrial Oh, I vaguely remember that. Never mind. I don't have much time. I need to get to the mirror forge beneath Earldred's manor right now. How can I get there? Oh, my. We usually avoid the lair of the beast. Lamashtu's influence is at its strongest in the mirror forge. Listen, I don't have much time. Tell me how to get to the mirror forge. All right, all right. The main road to Earldred's Manor is blocked. Your only way up there is the mountain path. You can get there by going to a southwest part of the city, uh, past the small park. Thank you. And Thomas, good luck. It's weird that everyone fucking knows me. <laughs> I have no memory of them or all that shit. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, I guess. Like, I'm not particularly sure where I'm going now. But hopefully, the game's been pretty good at, like, uh, guiding you. In fact, it's been very good. I can't even say pretty good. It's been excellent at it. It's done a really good job of showing you where you need to go, what you need to do, what you need to interact with. It's good shit. Oh, this looks promising. Back on the flashlight, too. You ready for the mountain path, guys? I'm ready for the hordes of enemies that will doubtlessly be lurking around every fucking corner waiting for me. I swear I saw something just then. Up we go to the peak of the mountain. Yeah, but this has been pretty decent. Like I said, it's too long. Like, this kind of stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it just feels like a fucking padding, this type of stuff does. But generally speaking, it's been a pretty good experience. This. I like this. Never thought I'd say this, but I like this more than Choo Choo Charlie and the Callisto Protocol. 
and I didn't think that was something that would be, like, feasible. After the demo of this was pretty bad, but it looks like they really, really listened and have changed everything, really, that needed to be fixed. Everything just flows better, the guidance is so much better. It's really good shit. It's really, really good shit. Oh, fuck off. I don't, I don't like her anymore, I want to kill her now. If she stayed full mummy mode, I would have been on board, but now nah. She's just been kind of annoying. This is his mansion, by the way. It's fucking... It's not even a... Ma like, it's... Not what I would... Ex not what I would call a mansion, I'm gonna be honest with you. Journal update. Tab to check. Explore the Mirror Forge facility. I think this is probably the last area, even if there's still a fair chunk of the game to go. What in the fuck? This is gonna be really bad, isn't it? I wonder if the last fight's gonna be bullshit. Wow. Bomb kings. I guess they took away my clearance. I mean, you did vanish for 20 years. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Thank you, dead mans, for helping me. Ooh woo. Note, 2023 is finally done. 20 years ago, our god spoke to us. Just two words, bring souls. We didn't know what it meant for years. <laughs> Which, the idiots? I assume she meant converts, but our god is not concerned with our paltry prayers. When we lost the seal of Nur, we thought our mission was over. That Lamashti would be bound forever. But with enough death, we could harness a fraction of the seal's power. Enough to bring down the hammer of reality one last time. It took a hundred million lives. This reminds me of Eternal Darkness a bit, this bit. I know it's, at the beginning I said it was like Eternal Darkness. It isn't really. That's not good. I think that was a puzzle, but I think I did it. <laughs> I think I think I solved it by pure accident. All right, we need a key card. Yes, I'm here. Oh, thank God. You've probably reached the server room. Have you run into any cultists? No. This place is a mess. Everyone is dead. The corruption is worse than I thought. The main pass is blocked. You know any others? Damn. Let me think. Yes. There's a key card in the locker next to you. Head back through the hallway and into the laboratory. All right. Talk to you later, Kyle. Stay safe, man. Uh, meanwhile, I'll try to access the next station. Good luck. All right, got the general access card. Hi. I thought I was an enemy, but it's not. It's just goo on the floor. There's bound to be some unpleasant enemies in here at some point soon. It's the finale we're heading into. You know, it has to be horrible. Video games have horrific bad finale. Challenge impossible. Oh, stop fucking crying about it. We all have bad relationships. Jesus Christ. Just because he locked you in the abyss or whatever, you know. Drawing what appears to be the pillar of Nur, according to one who studied the scroll. Can you hear me? Kyle! Just go through the fucking mirror. Charge the pillars. The seal is near. Recharge them. Close the breach. Okay. Recharge the pillars. Close the breach. Got it. He's longed for me. 
I can still feel his lips upon my body. Taste his tender skin. Talk more like this, and maybe I will change my mind again. I shall sink my teeth into his warm neck and drink him once more. One door, two keys. My salvation. He's probably fine, that guy. Right? Ancient Sumerians. The Sumerians are the earliest known civilization in the historical region of South Mesopotamia. They appeared to sages between the 6th and 5th millennium BC. Sumer invented cuneiform writing, which represents the cradle of human and civilization. What's more curious, though, is the legend speak of beings who descended from the sky, the Anunnaki, the gods of ancient times. 1510. Explore the hallways of the mirror forge. Okay. Hello there, son. I know it's 8.12, and yes, I know I'd be there for your birthday and never miss another one again. But it turns out I won't be able to. They locked us in at work. I don't know what, know when I can come home. I know you must be mad, but daddy loves you. No reply. Parent of the year. I mean, to be fair, it's not his fault if he got locked in by his evil corporation that he works for, you know what I mean? Auxiliary power on. Please enter the password on the computer to enable the locking mechanism. I'm guessing Timmy is the password. Maybe not. T I M M Y. Enter. Not Timmy then, huh? Maybe it's Bimmy. That's what he wanted to call his kid. But he wasn't allowed. Can you- can the wall stop farting for more than five fucking seconds, please? Jesus Christ. Alright, we got- it's gotta be something to do with this, I just don't know what it is. I realize it's the guy's, it's the birthday as well. So it's Timmy0812. It's the birthday from the phone outside. There you go. Not a big deal. Central hub area has been unlocked. Please proceed back to the hallway. Okay. We got this, no problem at all. Okay, this looks a little wobbly. Oh, there's a ladder, not bad. I was about to mark them down on their health and safety, but it turned out it was actually pretty numb. There's a ladder there, you know what I mean? I mean, you could have fallen to your death, obviously, you know, if you were ill prepared, such as myself. But, you know. At least the ladder was there to grab onto, in a worst case scenario, you know what I mean? Alright. Intestine elevator, very nice. Decontamination will begin at once. Please stand still. I think I'm really close to the end now, like the last like 20 minutes or so. Heading for a final showdown. But yeah, this is like, Silent Hill meets Eternal Darkness. Boom. Video title done. Hi! <gasps> Hi as well. I don't know what we don't call out to people, but I guess they could, probably could be bad. Probably, maybe, possibly. Wow. It's a big looking room. Time's a hand, Thomas. Couldn't have done this without Oh, the flashback. The world be in your debt. I am in your debt. I'm just doing what needs to be done, Jacob. I just hope I can forgive myself. Jesus. 
Jesus. Jacob, the safety protocols must have malfunctioned. We need to shut it. Oh, God. No, Jacob. Jane was right. She was... And I... I killed her for you. For your goddamn delusional dreams. You used me, you piece of shit. Oh, we killed him. doing it anyway and that's how I ended up in a different dimension this is the room where the magic all happened guys I can't run here by the way Yeah, going down there seems like a bad idea. Something here? Oh, I think I'm I'm activating the pillars here, right? I think here. Don't, am I am I crouching or am I just? I'm, why was I crouching? I wasn't. I wasn't, I, I couldn't, it wasn't that I couldn't run, I was just stuck in, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, whatever. I fixed it now. Right, there's another one up here. It's where we find out this guy lied to us the entire time and we're doing the wrong thing, but you know, that's what it is. It's a horror game. Make bad decisions. Alright, go across the other side, I think. Yep. There is a ladder there. Does it go anywhere? It goes all the way down to the floor, that one. There's one over there. She's putting up minimal resistance at the moment, which worries me. <laughs> Proceed through the opened massive door. Oh, stop crying. Well, we definitely seem to be getting near the end here. Thomas! Oh, Thomas, no! Jill! Hold on! I'll set you free! Listen to me! She used me this entire time just to get you! You're the one that she wants! You gotta leave! Run! I Proceed. I just did. What am I doing? It's just ha I thought, like all sense of urgency just dematerialized there. What the fuck? What? What, what am I doing? No rush or anything, right? The end of the world is just happening, so it's probably not a big deal. Can't walk through this either. What am I doing? 
Do I need to do something with you? Huh. Did these count as the pillars from before? I think that's a yes. They're cracking. One more. Still a little bit more. We're going through to her dimension, I guess. Game saved. Now this must be our finale of sorts. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. We should put this away for a little bit at least. Looks like they're giving us pain pills, which means we're probably going to have an actual fight. Which I really, really didn't want, but I think the game's probably going to do that. Like, I'd rather, it's like, run up, click a button, get the story ends, you know what I mean? I don't think it needs more than that. Oh, being chased. I think I think I think I survived. Probably. Go me. Oh, they're gonna give us a lot of pain pills here. That is not good. Not good at all. I think I'm being chased. Pitiful creatures. And I'm doing this shit. <laughs> oh shit, she's right there. What am I gonna be doing? Taking it back to that bit there. Got it. Alright, that could have gone a lot worse. I feel like this is a really bad idea. away. Pain pills, let's top up. She's like launching fireballs at me. I think. There's also a giant baby head over there. Which is interesting. I could probably live with this. Hi! I think we're doing alright. One one or two more. Ah. 
What did I do? What did I do? Did I win? She's just chilling over there. Well, this looks promising. I say promising, it's a horrific floating house in the middle of nowhere that reminds me of the end of Evil Within 2. But generally speaking, it looks promising. Hi! Got a door key. Alright, so this is another one of those statues that we need for something. Stop giggling. I'm not entirely sure where this goes, though. Maybe around this way? I haven't been down here yet. Aha. I feel like we're getting towards the conclusion here. Very much so. Oh, door's opening. From nothing you came, to nothing your return. What help have you to change things against the infinite? Just, just, I'm just following the game. I've no idea. Do hope we can beat you though. You've been very annoying. Oh god, I'm, for I'm forgetting the controls, sorry. I want to put this away. There you go. Oh, this looks like it's gonna suck, doesn't it? Enough! I already familiar the keys to my salvation. Back to dust with you. All is dust? Sound here is kind of broken, right? Like, it's like... <laughs> Nearly getting there. Just gotta hold off a little bit longer. I gotta heal off, so I'm, I think I'm alright. I think I won. Again. And now the sound's gone all like, just quiet again. Aha! I wonder if the final battle's gonna just be that again. They're fine, don't worry about that noise. Oh, it's this thing again. That's the thing that's chased me a bunch of times at this point. I'm not entirely sure what it is, other than Bum, obviously. But I don't think it's her, she's like the giant tree thing. Well, we're locked in here. Got a save. This looks very, very ominously end gamey. Let's fucking do it.
watch there be another hour. I lose my shit. I, th I don't think there is. I think it's like ten minutes. Boom, boom, ba boom, ba boom. Hi, how's it going? Gonna seal you away in a nightmare dimension now forever if I can ideally do. She sounds like a needy ex, you know what I mean? Just because you caused a car crash, okay, that almost killed my ex. Doesn't make this an ideal situation, it's another one of these fights. These kind of suck, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with them already. But it is what it is. Here we go. I've got, great, there's got these things too now. I wonder how many there's gonna be. Hang on, what the fuck is it? I didn't get it off in time, I don't think. Didn't get the heal off, I mean. I did not get the heal off. Maybe you're right now? I think I'm doing it. Yeah, I am. Fuck off. One more. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my god, the noise, the sound is just broken in this last bit. Like, what is happening with the fucking sound? I did it. That was the final fight. It's over. Bullshit. Bound, yes. Beaten, never. As long as hard. Oh, this prick. Realm, Lamashtu will hunger for them. So what? You're telling me I'm just fucked? Salvation is not far. The walls of reality are still frail here. Return to your dimension. Prevent any from plumbing the secrets of the multiverse. Only darkness awaits. Sounds good to me. What mirror do I need to touch to get us home? There is no us, Thomas. Just you. A price of blood paid by one bearing Lamashtu's mark. You want me to kill Jill? As you did Earl Dread before. The laws of reality dictate that... No. No? You have no choice. The walls of reality are too brittle here. She will keep trying to break the... I don't care. I beat her once. I'll beat her again. Thomas, you know not the forces you toy with. If she reclaims the mark, and she will devour not only this reality, but... But all realities. Yeah. I've been paying attention. Earl Drid, Lamash too, you. I'm sick of blindly following the wills of gods. I beat her once. I'll beat her again. Thomas, if you just think... Goodbye, Anu. Thank you for your help. But I've decided. That's right, fuck off, Anu. You came! I knew you'd come for me. I just... I just knew it! Of course I did. You're my Joe. My partner. We can do anything together. Not even the devourer of the multiverse can stop us. So, uh... How do we get home? About that. Yeah, about that. How do you feel about dilapidated mansions? Alright, that was Mirror Forge. Um, 
that was pretty decent. I liked it a lot more than most of the major releases this month, and I thought it was pretty good. Um, like, maybe a bit too long, but not. it's not too bad. Like, it's. I, I was pretty engaged all the way up till the end. Like, a little bit... A little bit too long, but other than that, not a bad experience whatsoever. I'd give this... I'd give this a 7. I thought this was very good for an indie horror game. You know? I, I thought way above average, let's put it that way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Mirrorforge. If you did, leave a like on the video. Long plays are back. If you want to support us on our Patreon, link is in the description. Thank you everyone who did stick with us on Patreon this month. I do appreciate it. We are still about 50 bucks short of our goal for the month. If you can help us out, it'd be awesome to hit it. I am trying to catch up on all the old content and stuff at the moment because of being sick really threw us for a loop. But it will come. Things will get caught up on. It just might take a month to get back on track. You know what I mean? But anyway, consider pledging, consider supporting. Like and comment on the video, and I'll see you soon for more spoops. Goodbye, guys. Have a great rest of your day.